Hello guys, this is Audioshes here, and today we are going to be showing you how to create a nice dubstep loop with a wobble sound in the voice and a nice drum loop. So, first we're going to go to instruments in our live devices and drag an operator into our MIDI. So, we got our first track here, and the level's to full on a sine voice, so we'll keep that as it is. Go to the next one here, turn the level up and make that at square 16 so now we've got this type of sound so that's a bit digital so I'm going to change the next le next track's level up to full and create a triangle there so now we've got a sort of Dr. P type sound so now we need the wobble so if we go to audio effects here and open that up and we find auto filter here and drag that into the audio effects we can see we got all this stuff so we want to change the amount to around 20 so that's exactly 20 we want to change this from Hertz to musical terms and drag that up to 1 6th so now we have our wobble it's easy as that we got our wobble so Okay, so that's actually from a Dr. P song, if you haven't already noticed, it's called um, Watch Out. So, uh, now we need our drum loop, so if we go down to, you, you will need a drum sample pack, so um, if you want to go find one of them on the internet, uh, they're quite easy to find, some of them, and there's some really nice guys out there who do just give good good packs out for free, like I've found. So you want to find drum rack in the instruments, and drag that into files and devices, and go to find your locate your drum sample pack and you have all your I have all mine I got from a really good guy um, I got all the kicks and snares and hats here so I want to find a good kick first so you can see we've already got this square from the drum rack so if you find your kick voice so I'm gonna quickly select one I like that one so I'm gonna drag that into the, one of the squares I want to find a snare now so the snares are at the bottom here So I like that one, so I'm going to drag that in there. I also need to find a hat. So that seems like the only good one. And then we want a symbol. So I like that already. So, so we drag that in there. So we got all three of them, all four of them even. Okay, so now we want to right click here and insert a mini clip. And if you click the headphones, you can hear all your voices when you click here so we're going to create our drum loop first I want to change the beats per minute to 140 down here because that's more of a dubstep um, beats per minute and now we need to create our drum loop so if we just make I think each you want each one to be about two as, so that so that will be the kick and then you want the hats up here And I want the hats to go all the way along like this. So they're always playing. And then I want the other symbol to be about here. And it will take a while to get to grips with this program if you haven't used it before. And you want the snares after the symbol like this. And this should sound about right. Oh, what am I on about? That shouldn't be there. That shouldn't oh that should be there. Well we want a kick in replacement with that one. So we got a nice loop already. But that's too fast for dubstep. So we want to replace this here. We're going to drag that along to the next kick and put another kick. Let's see what that sounds like if we put the kick there. Hmm. That'll do for now. 
So if we keep that, we want now want to find our we want to get our mini clip for our actual tunes. So we go back to our operator and we select the play button there instead of Okay. So if we click off that one there and click this one here, we now have our operator. I'm gonna use Dr. P's song watch out, this is the sort drum 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 loop. So if you click here, if you click the headphones again, you can hear along here. And I need to find some notes that this P uses. So it's that one. So each one of these is one beat, so you want to drag that to 16 gaps. So we got. Oh, and that actually changed, that actually stutters a bit, so it's. I'm going to keep it simple. So where's the next note? So on there, so we need it. To, we need to extend this at the top here, and just drag that along, just quite far for now, and then we can trim it back down. One, two, two, one, two, three, four. We need that one. And to extend it again. And then we need the next note. Back to the first note. So and we're gonna have to extend it again. One two, three, and just one more we need to extend by, so we didn't have to trim it down too much, and then let's just trim that to the last bit, so that should loop as well as the drum loop, so it should sound, and that'll just loop. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope it's helped you, and there will be more Ableton Live tutorials also as I learn as well, so please subscribe, drop the video if you drop the video a like if you enjoyed it and it helped you. Uh, thanks for watching guys, please rate, comment and subscribe.